All right. So like I said, we're starting seated. So go ahead and just get yourself comfortable, probably an easy pose. So cross those legs. Oh, all right. So I just want you to start out. Let's let your hands be relaxed on your legs. And we'll just roll our shoulders here. Good, find a breath where you can inhale and really squeeze up and then exhale, bring your hands behind you, open up your collarbones, look to the ceiling. Good, reset your posture, bring your hands out as far as you can. Good, and just let your ear fall to one side, feel that lengthening down the side of your neck. And we'll go the other way. Good, and relax the arms back into easy pose. And we're gonna do the spine spirals here. So imagine that your head is stuck in place, but you're just turning your ribs. So I know that your ribs attach to your spine, but imagine that your ribs are a maypole or your spine is the maypole and your ribs are going around your spine. But try to keep your head still so we're not doing this because then you look like a dreidel, right? We're not a dreidel. Yeah, we're a maypole. All right. I don't know which is better. <laughs> Good. Take your time. I know as I move around, I tend to feel the tight spots in my back, especially my lower back. So I can really just kind of pause and linger and breathe into those spots as I build heat with my breath into those areas. Just a few more in this direction. Good, slow down and just begin to take yourself in the other direction. And once again, just feeling those spots, pause where you need to. I really want you to think about your breath here. Find this rhythm that you can use as you breathe. So your rhythm kind of matches your spinal here. We lost Marsha, so sad. Couple more. Good, and we're gonna go long ways on our mat here. Extend those legs out. Good, hands are gonna come into prayer. Take a deep breath up. Exhale, fold forward. Now it's your first fold. You might not go that far, right? Think about pressing the, the uh, chest forward. Good, now roll yourself all the way back and give those legs a hug. Good, now just bring your, prayer, your hands right above your face. You can put them in prayer if you want to. We're gonna do same leg and arm. So you're gonna lift your head off the floor, pull your lower back into your spine. Take a breath, exhale, same side. So right leg, right arm, or left, it doesn't matter, and then switch. Take your time with this. Think smooth and not fast. Good. 
Again, find that rhythm with your breath. One more on each side. Good, give your legs a hug. Good, now we're gonna do that again, but we're gonna change it just a little bit. So just listen to me for a second and you can watch if you want to. All right, so we're gonna do same side. And then I'm gonna reach with my opposite hand up. Then I go back down and pull in, okay? So let's try that together. Reach away, right leg, right arm. Now keep that right leg straight, reach up with your left and grab that right foot, come all the way back down. Now pull the right elbow to the right knee. Now we go left arm, left leg, take a breath. Left leg stays straight, reach with your right, Go all the way back down. And now elbow and knee come together. Yeah? All right, reach away with your right arm, right leg. Reach up and cross with the left. Come back down. Pull the knee and the elbow together. Left arm, left leg. Cross with the right arm. Come all the way back down. Knee and elbow together. Right side, right side. Reach up with the left, reset that back down, elbow and knee together. Left and left, up with the right hand, reset back down and pull it together. Right and right, reach up with the left, come back down, pull it together, hang in there, one more each side. Left and left, reach up with the right, let it come back down, Pull it in, right side, reach left, extend, and whoo, give those legs a hug. Good job. Just sit yourself up and swing your legs around. We'll be in tabletop. Good, just take a second here in tabletop to roll your shoulders back, and I want you to let your head hang. Good, now let your head come to neutral and sink that spine down into cow. And then roll up into cat. Down into cow. And up into cat. Down into cow. And up into cat. Tuck your feet. Lift to downward dog. You spend some time here pedaling pushing those heels to the ground. And when you're ready, walk yourself to the top of your mat. Take a breath here, standing extension, and then exhale and fold. Relax the neck again. Good. Bend your knees, lift your gaze, and unhinge. We're standing in mountain pose. Give yourself some shoulder rolls. And take a breath. Exhale into prayer. Inhale up. Exhale, leaning mountain. Inhale up. Listen, chair pose. Inhale back up and leaning mountain the other way. Inhale, 
and chair. You can bring the hands to prayer in that chair if you want to. And then we rise and leaning mountain. Come up and chair, press and leaning mountain. One more each side. Good, just as you come back to mountain, bring your arms behind you, roll your shoulders open, squeeze the shoulder blades. Good, and inhale up. Bring the hands into prayer. Good. We're going to go up into heel raise. So we're getting up onto our toes. So take a breath. Go ahead and lock your core in. Center your body here. Remember, you want to spread out your toes. When you're ready, lift up into that heel raise. Focus straight ahead. Lower it down, inhale up. Little baby back bend here if you want to. Exhale, hinge and fold. And bring those hands to center and we go to standing extension. Good, bend your knees, hands to the floor, step back with your right foot. Turn that right foot and spiral up to warrior two. Pull those shoulder blades together behind you. Good, let's lift to reverse warrior. Let those hips open. Now come back to warrior two. Now we're gonna do a heel raise with the front leg. So if you watch me, I lift my heel and I'm actually sinking a little bit deeper, okay? If, if that's, maybe your stance needs adjusting, you can pull your foot in a little bit if you need to, to get that heel up, okay? So up into that heel raise, a little bit of a balance challenge. You're really pushing through this front leg. Of course, if that bothers your knee or anything, just not, don't do it, right? Press up first, then drop your heel. Reach out, take a big breath here. Exhale, hinge over to triangle. Go ahead and unhinge, turn your feet, and just bring your hands into center. Good, sink into your goddess pose. Okay, remember we do not wanna feel like we're tilting forward. We wanna have a tall posture here. Now we're gonna heel raise here, so you may find you want to adjust your stance a little bit. You may be right where you need to be. Try to balance up onto both feet, and then we're going to take those hands out. Squeeze behind you. Now, if you can't get up on both feet, 
just slip one, and then you can switch. Drop your heels, then press up, and dive over to the top of your mat. Take a breath as your right hand comes to the floor, sink your hips, and revolve your lunge. Both hands to the floor. Step back to downward dog. Good, take a second here to really push those heels down. This is your chance to stretch out from those heel raises. and come forward into your plank. Good, and Chaturanga to up dog. and push yourself back to your child's pose. Yeah, bring yourself back to downward dog. And when you're ready, bend your knees, step forward with your left leg, and then halfway in with your right. Go ahead and unhinge, big breath up, hands to the hips, open the front of your body here. You should feel that stretch in the hip flexor of your right leg. And then take another breath here in center, hinge over your leg and split your fold. Reach that rib cage down the front of your leg. and unhinge, put your feet together, and we're back in mountain pose. Go ahead and just take a breath and come into prayer. Good, now take a breath and go to single leg stand, right leg up. Extend your leg. Back to single leg stand. Now cross it over and single leg chair. Take a breath and re reset your mountain pose. Now sink into chair, bring your arms behind you. Lift your chair and we come up back into single leg stand, this time with your left leg up. You can have your hands up, you can keep them in prayer. Extend your leg. Bring it in. Now cross it over and single leg chair. Reset your mountain pose. Bring the arms down behind you and sink into chair. And we lift, take a breath, single leg stand, right leg is lifting. Extend your 
Extend your leg. Bring it in, cross it, single leg chair. Lift into your mountain pose. Hands come behind you, sink into your chair. Bring that up to your mountain pose, take a breath and single leg stand with your right leg up. Extend your leg. And bring it back in, cross it over, single leg chair. Reset your mountain pose and sink into chair, arms behind you. Reset your mountain pose, take a big breath. On your exhale, heel raise. and lower that down. Good, hinge over, split your fold. I'm sorry, not split your fold, just fold. You're driving me crazy. Good, lift to standing extension. Big breath here. Good, and then Bend your knees, hands to the floor. Step back with your left leg. And we're gonna unhinge to warrior two. She literally just wants to be held. Good, start to feel that strength in your legs. Squeeze behind you. And then see if you can bring this heel raise up so your right leg is lifting. Feel how that opens up your hips and you're sinking a little bit deeper. Shouldn't feel like you're moving forward though. Good. Drop your heel first, straighten your leg, inhale, and over we go to triangle. Unhinge that and just turn down on the left side of your mat. Take a breath and sink into your goddess pose. Now strong upper body here when you're ready. See if you can lift off of those heels and hold. Sink into that pose. Core is tight breathing. You can do one leg at a time if you need to. And straighten, take a breath, just cartwheel toward the top of your mat. Left hand to the floor and we'll revolve our lunge. Both hands to the floor, downward dog. Good, press those heels down. Come forward into plank. And chaturanga to up dog. Good. 
and sit back, child's pose. Good, bring yourself to tabletop, tuck your feet, lift to downward dog. Now we'll step in with our right leg and then halfway with your left, go ahead and unhinge. Roll the shoulders open, press the hips forward. And inhale, dive over that front leg, split your fold. And on an inhale, step in to standing extension. Exhale and fold. Bend your knees, lift your gaze, unhinge, and we're back up in our mountain pose. Good job, take a breath and let those hands come to prayer. <coughs> Good, inhale up, exhale, hinge and fold. Good, now bend your knees, lift your gaze, and come up into chair pose. On an inhale, right knee goes to, or right knee, sorry, right elbow goes to the left knee, revolved chair. Try not to let one foot kick away. Take a breath here, get your balance, heel raise with your right heel. And when you're ready, step back with the right heel into revolve lunge with prayer hands. Sink the hips. Good, bring your hands to the floor. And now walk your left foot toward the left side of your mat. Turn your right foot, sink your hips, and unhinge way up into warrior one here. Abs in, pull the shoulders back and down. Lift your kneecaps. And straighten here. Dive over the front leg, stop where you need to. That could be the shin, just stay off your knee. Long spine here, pull the hips towards the back of your mat. Intense side stretch. Sink that left knee, bend it, turn the right foot up. Take your left foot up to three leg dog. Now listen, take your left foot forward and through to three o'clock, turn onto your foot and we're coming up into broken triangle. Go back to three leg dog.
And take that left leg forward now to the outside and split your up dog. Let's thread the needle here. Right arm to that left leg. Big breath opens you up toward the ceiling. Reach down with your right leg as well as out with that left. And then we're gonna to go to the belly. Just roll back the way you came. You can bring your leg to the back of the mat if you want to. We're just gonna push up to tabletop and then take your right knee toward the right side of your mat, left foot toward the center, I'm sorry, right foot toward the center of your mat. So the left leg, the one you just were splitting with, is gonna to push to the outside. We're gonna split our child's pose here. Keep the weight pushed back in your hips. And bring that in, back to tabletop. Now take your left leg, that's the one that you just had out, straight behind you, squeeze up high and twist it behind you, and then just walk back into your hips and twist your child's pose. So this is not cow face. We're not down on the hips, we're just pushing back into the hips. You should feel like you're mostly on your shin underneath here. Relax your neck. Good, and bring that forward into tabletop. Roll your shoulders, tuck your feet, and lift to downward dog. Step forward with your left leg, halfway with your right, and split your fold, your choice, or go up into standing split. Lengthen that left leg, reach for the ceiling with the right leg. Try to straighten both legs. Come back to center, put those feet together. Lift to standing extension. And then fold. Good, come back to standing extension. Take a breath, bend your knees, lift your gaze and come right up into chair. And on an inhale, left elbow to the right leg, revolve your chair. Heel raise with your left foot. When you're ready, step back with your left foot, revolve lunge with prayer hands. Put your hands on the floor. Walk that right foot toward the right side of your mat and turn your left foot. Sink your hips, up you go into the strong warrior one here.
And now straighten, push the hips back toward the back of your mat. Dive over the front leg, intense side stretch. Good, turn your back heel up, both hands are on the floor, lift that right leg into three leg dog. And now push your right foot under you to nine o'clock, turn your left foot, broken triangle. And go back to three-leg dog. And now take that same right leg out to the side and split your up dog. Roll those shoulders back into your back pockets once you get down there. And let's thread the needle. Left hand to the right leg. Big breath. Open yourself up. And bring yourself back to the center. You can leave your leg out if you want or just come up and bring yourself to tabletop. Take your left leg toward the left side of your mat and that left foot is gonna go toward the center of your mat. Extend that right leg out, push back into your hips and split your child's pose. And walk yourself up toward the center. Take that right leg, the one you just had out, push back, cross up high, and then ease yourself back into your hips. Good, and we'll just come back to tabletop. Tuck your feet, lift to downward dog. And when you're ready, take your right leg forward. Halfway in with your left. And then you can stay in your split fold here or up you go into standing split. Straighten both legs.
Take a breath as you bring the feet together into standing extension. Exhale and fold. <laughs> Bend your knees and unhinge. Go ahead and take a breath. Good, exhale, just hold in prayer. Y'all missed it when I was in fold. <laughs> She's playing with my ponytail. <laughs> All right, take a breath. Let's go back to fold. Good, and walk back to downward dog. And we're gonna bring that right leg underneath us for pigeon. Really walk that left leg back. Try to roll your hips and shoulders parallel with the front of your mat, top of your mat. Make sure you're flexing your right foot. And when you're ready, start thinking long. Remember, never rounded, just long. Good, walk that up. And we're just gonna go back to downward dog. Take a breath, and when you're ready, bring the left leg under you. Walk that right leg way back, flex that foot, and let your breath guide you into where you need to be. Good, from here, walk yourself up and take your feet out in front of you. Take your feet wide. Good, push the bottom of your legs into the floor and find that nice tall posture. And then begin to reach forward with your heart. Breathe deep into your belly here. Good, slowly sit your yourself up. Good. Now find your posture, turn to your left leg and just, it's almost like you're trying to reach your chin to your toes. Think about your back leg staying down on the ground. Your hip stays down. You can even put your hand on your leg. So I'm putting my right 
hand on my right leg. It's just a reminder. And of course, you can always reach forward too. And we'll come up from there. And now we turn the rib cage to the other side. And then exhale forward. Again, keep the opposite hip on the ground. And come on up, bring your legs together and we'll go to bound pose. Good, if you wanna kind of shake out the knees here, you can. Good, from here, we're gonna to go to reclined bound pose. So just keep your feet where they are and bring yourself all the way down. And just take some time here to let the hips open. If you need to put your hands on your legs, give yourself a little more, you can. And now pull the knees together, bring your knees in and give them a hug. Good, now as we start to move into rest today, I want you to do whatever you need to do. So if you need to lift into a bridge, if you wanna roll your hips from side to side, whatever you feel like you need, we'll just take a couple of minutes doing that. And when you're ready, then move into your rest pose. So whatever you need.
And begin to feel your body in contact with the floor. And when you're ready, you're gonna just sit up and join me back in that easy pose. Good, and once you're there, go ahead and let your hands be heavy again in your, and your arms on your legs. And we're gonna do that spiral. Let's see if that spine feels a little looser now. Notice your breath is probably easier. Good, okay, let's go the other way. And bring those hands center and just spend a moment here in quiet and prayer. And just take a breath here. Let it out like a sigh. <sighs> and God bless you guys. Namaste. Have a great weekend. Thank you, Miss Kelly. God bless you. Oh, look at her. <laughs> I think she's looking at herself. She is. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Kelly. Oh, Hi. Hi. I got marshmallows. <laughs> Bye, sweetie.